What do you want? We'd like you to help plan the news for 1973. Come again? Plan the news for 1973. This is going to happen in 1973. You're going to make this happen? No. We're going to make models much cheaper. And then we photograph the models. Fake newsreels. Yeah, fake newsreels. For the past ten years, people have been looking at our fake newsreels and listening to our fake commentaries. And they accept it for the truth. And you can do it. Stop a hundred people in the street. How many of them have actually seen a missile or a satellite? That they, they're just told they exist and they believe it. Yes, you're getting there. I knew you would. Well, now the moon rocket and, and the satellite, that you can get away with. That's too remote for people to grasp. It's too far away, but, uh, but this. I mean, you invented this village on the Indo-Chinese border. Oh, yes. Well, somebody could check up. Very mountainous territory up there. There'll be no survivors in 1973. No rescue work. Radiation scare. Yes. You can do it. This could be the news for 1973. Not necessarily uh, exactly like this. We only plan in detail one year ahead. Oh, you only plan one year ahead. Uh, hey, um, tell me, what is the news item that's bothered you the most in the past year, 1967? Oh, well, it... Um... Well, it has to be the new American intercontinental ballistic missile, the, the, the boy wonder, doesn't it? Just the one I asked him to set up for you. The new ICBM, codename Boy Wonder, with a much talked about Mercury warhead. Uh, I haven't any special effects up here, but perhaps with, with the proper sound. Blast off. And Robert Larkin. Television director, high IQ, 35 years old, is scared. Scared by nothing. It doesn't work. It's a scientific impossibility. The same goes for the much-talked-about Mercury warhead. <laughs> Perspex. Well, if... If this rocket doesn't work, then the others... That... They have a fireworks party at Cape Kennedy almost every other day. Well... You didn't really believe there were all these things whizzing about up there, did you? Uh, Sputniks and rockets. <laughs> Astronauts crossing their legs for eight days. How long has this been going on? Since Hiroshima. And, and the H-bomb, you mean, that doesn't work either? Right. Dirty. Very, very dirty. What was your first reaction? Relief. Oh, yes. Yes, it has to be relief. Only 12 people are allowed beyond this point. Most of them uh, work in the photographic department, taking the phony newsreel pictures of our models and processing film and so on. Sit down, please. In Vietnam, hundreds of people are being killed every week. Well, you can't do that with your models. No. And you can't kill people of bad habits in two generations. They like to carry rifles, they like to put lines on maps, and we let them because we control the situation. There's no danger of world war. Just a simple choice for everybody, capitalism or communism. Strawberry or vanilla. It all adds up to the same thing now we've got rid of the big bangers. Well, how can you be sure that Johnson, Kosygin aren't working on other things? Poison gases, bacteria. Pathetic man of your intelligence. You don't want to destroy the world, neither do I. What makes you think that presidents are different? Well, they've made some pretty good stabs at it in the past. There wasn't the right sort of control then. Nowadays we know better. Politicians are easy to control. The grosser mentality boys who like to be photographed getting in and out of Daimlers in Whitehall. They come right at the bottom of our organization. A few rungs up the ladder, there are the people in the top secret factories. Just those in a position to know they're making weapons that don't really work. Well, there must come a time when somebody wants to use one of those weapons. I mean, somebody is standing there with a finger on the button. Well, that's the beauty of it. Nobody presses the button. We control all the crises. 
We build them up and we shut them down. We? Again? Yeah, I'm coming to that. Near the top of the hierarchy, there are the economists, top civil servants, top brass in the military, those men who are supposed to view the nuclear tests and so on. And above them, CWNS. Right at the top. Classified World News Service. Just who the hell are you? It's obvious, isn't it? Just a few, just a very few of the top people in communications in every major country in the world. 